Good morning, my darlings. Coming to you this morning from my dressing table, which oh, I'm just in two minds as to whether I want to paint this or not. I don't love the creamy colour, um, but I don't want to ruin it in any way. Although I feel quite confident that I'd probably be able to recreate the gold effect on the edges. Um, I think I might do a bit of research and see what kind of paints I would need um, and that kind of thing, but that's a project for another day. I had a really gorgeous shower and a bit of a pamper this morning, so feeling good and it's going to be another beautiful day. I'm not too sure what the plans are, what room I'm going to sort out this morning. I'm hoping that maybe some of my coat hangers will arrive because I have got quite a lot of clothes which need hanging both upstairs and in the soon-to-be pink room. As I mentioned in the last vlog as well, we are now allowed to have workmen come to the house, so preparation for painting the master suite is underway. We've got the decorator here already, we did all the planning ahead of time, although we still don't know what colour we're going to paint it, I'm still actually waiting on some more samples from Crown. I've basically, I think the actual bedroom is still going to be a white colour, but if you've ever painted a room white, you all know that there are so many different shades of white, um, and we want quite an old-fashioned white, like not creamy, because as I mentioned with the dressing table, I'm not a huge fan of anything too yellowy. And for example, the walls in this room, they are a tiny bit yellowy for my liking, but this room is not really a priority to paint. Um, but as soon as those samples from Crown do arrive, I'll be doing some swatches in the master bedroom so that we can get that room done because I actually had an email from the company that we bought our bed from and a lot of our bed furniture, bedroom furniture, and the bed is actually ready to be delivered. And once I give them the green light, um, I purchased what's called the white glove service. So they will also come and build it in the bedroom, which will save quite a lot of stress between Charlie and I. But obviously I don't want to have people coming over to build the bed if the bedroom is not painted, so everything kind of has to happen in the right order. Um, and then I think the thing, annoyingly, which we'll get last is our mattress. Because the place that we're getting our mattress from is quite a bespoke, like, handmade mattress company, we were willing to invest in a mattress because, um, I mean, they're not cheap anyway, but you do literally spend half your life in bed, and I'm not planning on getting another mattress anytime soon, and I just feel like the master bedroom deserves an epic mattress, but because it is more handmade, it's probably not going to be ready until the end of next month. So we're not going to be able to sleep in that bedroom for a little while anyway, so not too much of a mad rush, and I mean, this room is lovely anyway, so we're quite comfortable and quite happy as we are, but anyway, um... I'm going to go downstairs and make my morning smoothie and do a few emails and I'll catch up with you shortly. My Ted Baker pieces have just arrived. You might remember a couple of days ago I was choosing some bits for the IGTV that I'm going to create for them. So I thought I would show you what is inside this gorgeous delivery. The first thing is this beautiful silk scarf. By the way, how fun is the lining of their boxes? Um, yeah, this is quite a long beautiful silk scarf with this gorgeous floral print. My plan is actually to um, thread this through my hat and have it as like a chin tie underneath the um, underneath my hat. I think that'll look so lovely so I'll try popping that all together late later on. Then we've got this most beautiful cardigan. It's almost got little metallic threads in there. So so pretty. I love just popping a cardigan over my shoulders in the evenings when it gets a little bit chilly. And then we have the beautiful dress. I think their collection with these florals is called the Pergola Collection and just so many of the pieces from this collection I absolutely adore. This is the most beautiful light material. This will be so gorgeous on summer days but maybe you want just to be a little bit more modest. So for example it is um, I think three quarter or maybe full length. Yeah that looks like a full length sleeve and then the most gorgeous midi length and you can see it's beautifully pleated. I think a tie closure universally is the most flattering dress shape so I think this is just going to be absolutely stunning and the most beautiful 
floral pattern down at the bottom of the pleats. Next, in this lovely case, it's like um, a light pink Saffiano leather effect, we have got a pair of sunglasses. I thought these were a really gorgeous, kind of, you know, that cool Instagram girl effect. So I thought contrasting with the super pretty prettiness of the dress, um, I think they'll give a really nice effect. And then I actually... Um, put a list of a few different pairs of shoes that I like the look of um, and just said whichever you guys think are best. So I don't know exactly which pair of shoes this will be. So let's open it up and discover. Ooh la la, we have got the chunky block sandals. I actually thought these were brown on the website. To be honest, I don't have any black shoes. So this is a first. They've got the buckle on the side um, and a really chunky block heel. So they should be super comfortable. And that'll be the way that I style this dress up. Um, if I was to be leaving the house, then I would probably go for a chunky block sandal like these. So that is what is in my Ted Baker delivery. I cannot wait to try this on and style up the dress. I am already on to my second cup of coffee for the day. I just feel like I didn't sleep very well last night. My eyes are a bit puffy this morning, but uh, today's post has just arrived and this intriguing box has been delivered from Bare Minerals. So I thought we could open it up together. My battery literally died as I took the lid off the box. So you just missed my squeal of delight at this spectacular posy, would you call this a posy? A little posy of flowers. The most beautiful collection of peonies. There is some eucalyptus in here. They need to get in some water. I wonder if they've come all the way from London. If so, the girls have been very busy bees. What's it say on here? Let these brighten up your day or someone else's. Hashtag power of good. Well, they have absolutely brightened up my day. Ooh. So this is for tomorrow's um, virtual masterclass to celebrate the launch of the new Mineralist Hydra Smoothing Lipstick. I'm excited. A little makeup pouch. Let's see what's inside. Ooh. Yes, I needed a new one of these. They're Serum Concealer, Lash Topia Mascara, so many of my favourites, Brow Master, this is so handy, this is literally what I needed. Some lip liners, oh my goodness, a lot of lip liners. Ooh, new eyeshadow palette from their Gen Nude collection, this is in the shade Neutral. So many lovely goodies. Spoilt, absolutely spoilt. And then, oh my goodness. I think this is the actual lipsticks. <gasps> I love the campaign imagery. Hayley Bieber. New Mineralist Hydra Smoothing. Whoa. <gasps> oh my goodness. Where do I even begin? Romance, that looks absolutely gorgeous. That is almost like a peony pink, actually. That is stunning. Holy guacamole. What's this? Is this a box of cards? It looks like a pack of cards. <laughs> yeah, it literally is. That's so funny. Oh my God, a pack of Haley. Ah! That is so cute. There is lipsticks on the playing cards. That is so so adorable, oh my goodness. I bet when Hayley Bieber started modeling, she never thought she would be on a pack of Bare Minerals playing cards. That is so fun. Oh, this is adorable. I obviously want to apply one now, but there are just too many to choose from. I love that one, Romance. Um, balance and Memory look like the nudiests. Oh, wow. So Balance is quite a brownie nude not sure if you can see that or not because i've put you miles away this is insight that looks absolutely gorgeous i think i might pop that one on now more clean vegan naturals and less unnecessary ingredients for rich smoothing hydration saturated color creamy satin finish Twice the hydration and twice the rich colour of a normal lipstick, I guess. Goodness me, we also have, try your like this, a marble tray. My Bloody goodness. hell, wow. No wonder this box is so heavy. 
Ah, I actually bought one of these the other day, a reusable um, cotton swab. That is very handy. Top up of the original foundation, which is perfect because mine is so close to running out. Bare Pro highlighter. And I haven't used this in ages, but I have been wanting to start using it again. It's their Mineral Veil Actual Powder, because as we all know, I'm super shiny. A little pot for the brushes and a bronzer. Wow. What a dream delivery. Thank you to the girls at Bare Minerals. I also received a package from Charlotte Tilbury. It's their Magic Serum and Magic Lip Oil, both of which I've heard really good things about. So I'm looking forward to trying those. And then, these might be a little bit controversial, but something that I ordered from Farfetch has also arrived. And in my head, I was imagining wearing these either with a chunky knit or with like a barber jacket and walking boots or wellies. And it's just countryside chic. So, they always come so beautifully presented. I ordered a pair of Burberry legging trousers and they have got leather knee patches and then these gold buttons down by the um, foot little zippy pockets at the top here and you guys know how much I wear my Reese Tyne trousers and this legging style trousers so I thought I would invest in a more premium version I think it was um, just before we moved house a lot of you recommended the Joseph trousers to me but they were so similar to my French Connection ones that I actually sent them back. So when I saw these Burberry ones I thought yes, they are different enough to the ones that I currently own to justify it. So that's our post for the day, lots of exciting bits. Charlie and I are now going to take our coffees around the garden and analyse how the plant situation is so far and I'm going to show you something very sad, very very sad indeed, and also explain our theory why said plant is looking so sad and also be interesting to know your theories as well. So I'm just gonna twiddy this up a little and then we're gonna mooch around the garden. So we're taking a trip down to the bottom of the garden. The herbs are flourishing. Yeah. They look brilliant. And look, my this is um. I don't quite know whether this is rocket. I don't think it can be rocket. I can't remember what seed this is. They're like little heart-shaped yeah, seeds. Yes, so I planted salad seeds here. Yeah. And here, and some are coming through here, and I think this is going to be rocket. Is this the two here? Did you plant these? <clears throat> so these here are all from seeds. Seeds, yeah. Which are coming through. Yeah. These are from. Dalesford. Dalesford, which are just salad boxes, which you can put on your windowsill and water, or you can stick them in a flower bed. They won't come back next year. They will oh. grow more, and then they won't come back. So we'll have to just, we'll have to start using them, really. Yeah. Obviously, the rest of this we're going to use for salad and maybe some overspill of herbs. Yeah. Because there's a few herbs that we don't yet have that we've not got in that bed. And mm. I don't think we can plant any more in there. What's this one that's starting to flower it's here? Chives. Chives? Didn't yeah. know they flowered. So these are two different types of chives. Um, yeah, all, all herbs, flat, well, I, yeah, I mean, rosemary flowers, beautiful, thyme flowers, curly I don't know about um, parsley ones. is doing well. Yeah, so this is obviously flat leaf parsley, we've got curly parsley, that's sage oregano. It's looking good. And we've got a few different types of thyme here, three different types, which is nice. Lovely. Um, this bed, I think, will do root vegetables next year. Yeah. We're going to need to get it really... Uh, some better soil in there. Oh, I think we're going to empty a lot of that out because it's most of the Yeah. These all looking a bit better, healthier. Yeah, we need to leave sprinklers on it, I think. I know, there's a rose, there's a rose here, which I think we need to move. Maybe we move it over by where your mum's going to live. You know, where we put the other one. Yeah. Because that is not enjoying life there. No. This area is looking good, the peonies will come out soon. Probably another couple of weeks and the peonies will be blooming. We could put the other rows in here actually as a gap. Yeah, next to the other rows. You think? Yeah, gosh, this one's going to be a beautiful colour, look. Do you I think to I have. Do that now? Take think... We haven't got your equipment. I'm not sure if I've said previously, but this lower part, we're leaving the grass long and we're going to be 
hopefully creating a bit of a wildflower meadow um, but we need to order some seeds and plant those and maybe some bulbs because at the moment it's just basically weeds <laughs> and buttercups and dandelions but it'll be really nice to see how this evolves over the next few years gardener charlie's decided to move the rose now <sighs> my nose is running i think i've actually got hay fever it's a good idea to do it now though before it flowers Oh, you little treasure! You little treasure! You are divine. You are a creature of epic divinity and perfection. You are an actual angel. So over here is the site of our first tragedy. Our lovingly nourished and well-watered hydrangea island is an epic fail. So as you can see, the leaves are looking really sad. They're starting to go brown. And sadly, absolutely tragically, this one was really soon to bloom, but the flowers or the little seedling heads, the bud heads, are now just withered black. It almost looks like they've been burnt. And I have to say it was extremely windy a couple of days ago. Um, we did water the soil and it was fairly fertile, but the soil underneath is clay soil. So theory number one is that the hydrangeas just absolutely hate clay soil and it's actually killed them off from the roots. That's theory number one taking a shortcut through the house. Ooh. And now this sad sight over here is the hydrangea that you saw us so lovingly planting the other day. It is absolutely freezing out here. I've just put my puffer coat on. Um, and as you can see now, very much dead. It looks as though I don't know, it looks like it's been poisoned, which leads us to our second theory, because over yonder is a farmer's field, and he was spraying it the other day, which what I presume possibly was a weed killer. Um, and because it was so windy, I think some of it may have flown over to our garden and killed our hydrangea, but then it doesn't really explain the other one. But then, to add to that theory, this wisteria where I took that gorgeous picnic photo. So glad I did it then. Um, this is also looking very sad and the leaves looking very dead. Like, that's not normal for wisteria to go brown like that, is it? Look at this branch here, the whole branch is brown, which is what makes me think it's been poisoned, which is so sad. But if anyone has any other clues or ideas, please let me know because we've obviously put so much time into this garden even though we've only been here a month. Um, and it was all starting to look so lovely. And now it's all starting to look very sad. Boo hoo! I absolutely love it when uh, the afternoon light comes into this bedroom. If this room was tidy right now, it would just be so gorgeous. But I've just been sorting out clothes, so it's a little bit of a jumbled mess. I wanted to show you what I, I have changed into outfit wise um <laughs> we've just been outside shooting pictures of this dress for a sponsored instagram that i've got going live tomorrow uh hence the jacket but i'm going to take this off and show you because this is one of the most divine dresses that i think i have in my entire collection it looks especially wonderful when paired with 
Ugh slippers, but the dress itself is the most beautiful silhouette quite hard to show you having just complimented the lighting in here The most beautiful silhouettes and drape to it this gorgeous kind of watercolor pattern you could cinch it in a little bit more around the um, Chest area, but I've chosen to leave it quite loose. I love that. It's just got the most relaxed silhouette and yet it is a really beautiful piece which could be dressed up and down. This is exactly the kind of thing that I want for just relaxing around the house, which is exactly what I've been doing for the past couple of hours. I can't actually remember which shade I put on, um, but I also applied the Bare Minerals lipstick about four hours ago now, and I've gone through God knows how many cups of mint tea, mint from the garden, and it's still looking amazing. It's not quite as um, creamy and slightly glossy as it was to begin with, but it's just left my lips with the most beautiful tint on it. It's just so, so lovely. Um, but I've just spent the past couple of hours really on my laptop doing a bit of editing of these pictures um, and replying to emails. And I feel like I've had a really unproductive day, even though when I think about it, I haven't. I've pretty much emptied my inbox. Um, I've shot and edited and sent off an Instagram post for approvals. So I've actually had quite a good day work-wise and some really interesting campaign offers have come in via email as well. So. It's uh, promising work-wise, thank goodness, because obviously we have a substantial house that we need to support now, but it has been quite a low energy day and I have those every now and then where I just don't really wanna do much, but I am having a bit more of an energy burst now, so I might go and do a bit of tidying up of the soon-to-be pink room because I think the decorator wants to start priming and prepping. Why don't I show you the master bedroom? Um, obviously, it's just in the very early stages of decoration because it's just been prepped, but um, yeah, I'll just show you how it looks anyway. I will take my tea with me. These mint leaves, I've just taken a load of them out. Um, oh dear, how do I open the door? Balancing, 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 success. Um, yeah, these are mint leaves from the garden, that big juicy leaf that we have down in the bottom of the garden. Um, I let it brew and then I've topped up the water three times and it's still really, really strong. I love that our decorator is so tidy, he actually took away his... Um, his dust sheets, most of them, at the end of his shift today. We obviously self-isolated from him. He was up here working away and we were down in the kitchen. I even sterilized the coffee cup handle after I'd made him a brew. But um, yeah, so mainly what he's done in here is file down, like using sandpaper, file down and add some sealant around the edges of the paneling because where um, the wood has just kind of moved and settled over time, there had been a bit of a gap developing between the back of the paneling and the sides. And we obviously want it to be a perfect finish, so that's what he's done in here. It makes me think, actually, seeing this contrast, that it would be a little bit bright if the walls were painted totally white. So I'm really excited for the samples to arrive um, so that we can see how it looks with a slightly more antique -y kind of warmer white. Uh, I can't remember if I mentioned earlier as well, but we also received an email that our bed is getting close to being able to be shipped, but we don't have any deadline for the mattress yet. As you can see, the bathroom furniture is out here as well, the mirrors from the wall and the cabinet. So let's see what process has been made in here. Goodness me, he's managed to do the same in here. Typical ma'am, left the toilet seat up. <laughs> oh gosh, there's all the mess. <laughs> so we have got, um, yeah, pretty much the same in here. He's done quite a lot of prep on the mantle over the fireplace. I don't know if we might want to do something a little bit prettier inside the fireplace or if I just want to have it as um, an area for like a bar trolley with some bath salts and things like that. He was also explaining that he's put some primer underneath the bottom of the bathtub because Charlie actually suggested it would look really amazing if it was painted pink. A really dusky kind of earthy pink, so maybe that's what we're gonna do. I think eventually, obviously this bathroom set is just absolutely stunning, um, but I just, I would love it so much more if it was gold, and I don't really think that this can be um, altered. So I am looking at alternative sinks, and we'll probably sell these because it is such a gorgeous set, but that is super low priority because I think the bathroom right now is just absolutely stunning. 
I would like to change the light fittings as well, but again, not so urgent. Um, and a few of you have asked about the shower situation in here. Well, there is a big shower in the corner. You'll be relieved to know. Thank you so much to everyone that sent better recommendations for how to dry out um, petals. As you can see, my roses are looking a bit sad, so I might do all of them tonight, um, but I have put a few in the pages of this very heavy book. Someone actually recommended a telephone book. Well, I think they're probably worth a lot of money these days because they're so antique. We haven't had a telephone book in ages. Oh, these are looking quite good, actually. They're completely flattened out, um, but I think... Oh, they're actually starting to dehydrate too. So yeah, I'm just basically trying it the old-fashioned way by pressing the petals in between the pages of a heavy book. Also on the kitchen island, we have got a couple of pasta evangelist recipes. As you may remember, if you watched my vlogs when we were living back in London, uh, Charlie and I did have a subscription to this, but I cancelled it because I didn't realise that they delivered out here. Um, but this was actually sent to us. There were two... Um, mini pasta portions sent to us to celebrate the launch of um, Little Women, which is a film coming out um, now, I believe, on Blu-ray and DVD. So we're basically going to stream that this evening and enjoy some pasta. I don't think, unfortunately, there's enough for both me and Charlie because they're quite tiny portions. So we're also going to do an aubergine um, lentil concoction. I'm going to leave Charlie in charge of that. But it's about six o'clock now and I'm absolutely ravenous. So hopefully we'll start on that soon.